let us look at this uh, trig equation and the question is we have to find the solution or x uh, between 0 to 2 pi which is in radians okay so let's start so when you're looking at a trig equation you treat it as a simple equation or linear equation so the first thing that you undo is this plus 2 so you have to take away 2 from this side so you have to take away if you take away 2 from this side, you have to take away 2 from this side. So this becomes 3 cos of x minus 1 is equal to negative 1. So now dividing both sides by 3, so you get cos of x minus 1 is minus 1 divided by 3. The next step is very crucial. We, fi we are finding not the x minus 1, but we are finding the reference angle x minus 1 which is shown by this notation called a caret. Okay, so this is called a reference angle. In some books, they may also call it the principal angle. This is not the real angle. This is only a principal angle or reference angle. Is, as you should know, you're taking cos inverse of both sides. Cos inverse of 1 divided by 3. We are ignoring the negative. We'll come to the negative later on. Okay, so this is simple algebraic manipulation. So you get your calculators out and go to your run. And before you do any calculation, it's a good habit to check. If you're working in radians, your angle should be in radians. Okay, so you go shift, cos, bracket, 1 divided by 3. I'll round it to 2 decimal place. So in radians, x minus 1, which is your reference angle, is 1.23. So this is 1.23. 1.23 radians. We don't write radians. It's understood. So, this is your radian. So, if you add 1 to both sides, your reference angle would be 2.23. So, this is your reference angle. 2.23 uh, will not make sense. So, let us put, sorry, uh, x minus 1. I'll keep it as it is. This is equal to this is, we want this in your first uh, first quarter. So x minus 1, your reference angle is 1.23. Now pi, so this is this is 0 degree. Okay, so at this it's pi, pi by 2. This is 3 pi by, sorry, pi by 2. This is 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi. <coughs> Excuse me. So 1, 1.23 radians is your reference angle. Okay, but... Uh, so let me show 1.23 in the first quadrant. So one point, this is 1.57 pi by 2. Pi is 3.14 and half of 3.14 is 1.57 roughly, again okay, 2 dp. So 1.23 <coughs> say would come somewhere here. Okay, so that's your reference angle. So this is 1.23 degrees in your first quadrant. 1 point, let me write this properly, this is 1.23 degree or radians in your first quadrant. But the ang but in, in the question we have a negative 1 point, uh, negative 1 divided by 3. This was for 1 divided, or this was for 0 0.33, but this is negative. Now you have to think, this is a good representation of the unit circle. So I've written the first quadrant, the second quadrant. So this first quarter, this is called the first quarter. This is called the first quadrant. This is your second quadrant. This is your third quadrant and the fourth. So the, a good formula to remember is cast, C-A-S-T. C for cos, cos for sine, A for all, sine, cos and tan, S for sine and T for tan. So what does this mean? Cos is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant. So cos is negative in the second and the fourth quadrant. And how how, how am I going to use 1.23? So your reference angle is 1.23 means you have 1.23 in the second quadrant. So this would be when you're measuring it's always from the x axis. Okay, so this is 1.23 in the second quadrant. Okay, this is 1.23 in the 
second quadrant and then you have got 1.23 in the third quadrant would be somewhere here. I don't like students to remember formulas. You should make up your own formula. So this is 1.23 in the third quadrant. But the question is, they're always asking you or the you have to answer with respect to your positive arm of the x-axis. This is the positive arm of the x-axis. So this angle, they're asking you basically this angle. Let me use a green color. So this angle is a bit messy here. This angle is 180 of pi minus 1.23. Okay. And, okay, let me do one at a time. So this angle, uh, this, this much is 1.23. So this angle is what you have to answer. So this is 180 or pi, pi minus your reference angle. So your x minus 1, x minus 1, the angle that you're looking for would be pi is 180 minus your reference angle, which is x minus 1 prime. So this is a good formula to remember. So the, if you're finding your answer in your second quadrant, so this is a good formula. So this is a for those who like formulas, so this is a good formula. Whenever you have an answer in the second quadrant, you have to go pi minus your reference angle or 180 minus your reference angle. And when it's in the fourth quadrant, it's pi plus your reference angle. So this is in your third quadrant. I'll show this on a if you don't want to remove the formula, this is what I'm talking about. You're talking about this angle. You're talking about this angle. And this angle is 180, this much is 180, or pi, plus 1.23. That's this whole angle. So let us substitute the value. So therefore I can say, let me bring my black. So x minus 1 is pi minus 1.23. But we are interested in x, which implies x, we add 1 to both sides. I hope you understand this is pi minus 0 0.23. And the other angle, I will use a calculator later, which is pi plus 1.23. And if we add 1 to both sides, it will be pi plus 2.23. So let me use the calculator. So cancel shift pi minus 0 0.23, which is 2.91. So that's the one answer, which is 2.91, 2.91 rads. And the other angle would be pi plus, uh, let me cancel this, pi plus 2.91. 23, which is 5.37. So that's perfect. I will check this on a calculator, 5.37. So these are the two answers for this equation. So let me get the calculator and uh, where's my equation? This is what we are looking at. We are looking at this equation. Okay, we can also type in this equation if you want, but we are looking at this so you go, press menu, let me scroll this a little more further. So go to graph and type in cos of x minus 1. Okay, and uh, look at your setting. This is from 0 to 2 pi. This is 2, this is how you type in 2 pi. And I have gone the scale of y from minus 2 to 2, that's fine. So this is your cost graph, and the question is, when is this x minus 1, minus 1 divided by 3? So G solve, we want to find the x value when y is minus 1 divided by 3, just like that. So 2.91 is your first answer, and your second answer is 5.37. Hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.